So I actually went down to the uh, Scientology ward in Chicago. There's a woman there named Sarah. And she didn't know who I was, you know. I acted dumb. I acted like I didn't know what Anonymous was or who Anonymous are. Um, and I act like, you know, I said I just went on the, uh, the internet, you know, and looked up some stuff on Scientology, and I was interested in it, because, you know, I'd, I'd been hearing about it, and I, you know, I'm like, I live up here now, and I actually was living in Ravenswood at the time, so I walked down, there was a pretty long walk, but walking in the city's actually, um, not bad, I like doing it. So I walked up there, and I was asking about their stuff. And she was very nice. And uh, I kind of feel bad in retrospect because uh, when uh, they had a phone call and two people working there were just, you know, regular white Americans, couldn't speak Spanish. She said, do you speak Spanish? And I said, yeah. And I picked up the phone. I gave the, uh, the person on there directions. Uh, it's a nice Hispanic lady looking for... Uh, directions how to get to the org and I actually gave him directions and I kind of feel guilty about that um but um I actually think the call might have been coming from California I don't know why they called the Chicago number but I'm pretty sure pretty sure they weren't gonna you know get where they want to I didn't lie but you know or maybe that's just my memory screwing me up so I don't feel so guilty about giving so many directions to Scientology but this lady, I talked to her. I said, "Oh, what's anonymous? Didn't didn't uh, Scientology used to be anonymous? You know, just trying to get a, uh, just trying to get a, you know, kind of information, seeing what she thought of it." And she says, "Honestly, you know, I think those kids that protest, I think they're paid. I mean, this is really, I mean, these are the true slaves of Scientology. You know, I, I truly feel bad for these people." I don't feel bad for the Miscavige's and people like that, or even Marty Rathbone, Burn, or um, the Australian guy. What's his name? The guy that was the ah, I forget his name. Um, the uh, you know, these spokesmen for it. Uh, but the the people who are really inside, they really are the victims. And there's a strange thing. I just I, I just was just thinking about this. If you look at East Germany, when uh, I don't know if uh, a lot of people were on here if you were uh, alive or can remember when the uh, Berlin Wall was up. But uh, I was young then, but I, st I still remember it. it. Fell when I was about 10 years old. And, uh, you know, all the movies, everything, people escaping, you know, over to West Germany. And nobody was escaping into East Germany. They were all trying to get out and... The communist painted uh, the socialist governments as a utopia, as this is better, the capitalists are the oppressed, you know, uh, the proletariat is being abused there, uh, and that's Scientology. I mean, that's exactly Scientology. If you look at Gold Base or any of their other, any of their other compounds, and I believe it's the same at St. Hill, I don't know, um, the barbed wire. An ultra barrier to keep people keep people who you you claim Scientology are free and they claim everybody else is oppressed everybody else is miserable uh, they can't reach their full potential and the idea that somebody's reaching their full potential answering phones in Clearwater Florida that you know none of these people are the top two percent of the world running running the governments they're not running these huge charitable organizations yeah when they go down yeah, they give out water and people see oh they don't evangelize but yeah they use their that rub down technique I don't know what their uh, their actually their lingo is for it in fact a lot of the lingo like interpolate and all the other crap it's just useless I don't want to use it um, they do. They 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 push their methods, all their uh, um, personality tests, stress seminars, and all that is a, is a way to get people in, suckering them in. 
it's, it's worse than uh, uh, bread for Bible type of thing, you know. Take a Bible and you get bread, you know, that type of thing that the missionaries used to do. And maybe they still do. Because at least if you're getting handed a Bible, you know exactly what's in there. You can read it cover to cover and know exactly what the missionaries believe. And uh, the Christian cults, even the Islamic cults or the Buddhists, they'll tell you exactly what what they uh, what they believe. You know, and they'll stare you dead in the eye and say, "Yeah, we believe." You know, you know this magical horse with the human head and wings flew up to heaven with Prophet Muhammad on it. Yeah, we believe. You know. That this God, who is also the Son of God, was born of a virgin, and then he died and resurrected on the third day, and he caused all these miracles. Or, you know, we believe this God appeared in the pillar of fire and came down on Mount Sinai, and the whole mountain flew, you know, glowed red, and all this stuff. Every other religion will tell you what they believe. Scientologists won't. And they hide behind saying, oh, it's technology, this and that, because it's really not, you really can't even be classified as a religion, but the only reason they get away with this is because they will always deal with spiritual principles. You know, and they claim, oh, atheists are the worst, but they, they have no, the only reason they have things like worship and marriage is to satisfy the fact that they're in a Christian environment. And then the tax relief is only, uh, the tax break is only, that's what that's what religion is for for them is to get a tax break, and I'm sure they're not the only ones. But if you look at the horrible oppression, the Lisa McPhersons, and it's not just not Lisa McPherson, there's other people. I forget her name, but there was that girl who was found dead shot in the center of the head on a boat, and uh, L. Ron Hubbard was he was he was the uh, he was on the ship with her, and he said, "Oh yeah, it was a suicide." Yeah, and again, they blame the victims. Oh, it's her own fault. Any fanatical, loyal Scientologist, like in Operation Snow White or Operation Freakout, oh, they do the exact bidding at their own expense of what Scientology tells them to do, and then Scientology turns their back on them completely. The Aryan Brotherhood doesn't even do that. The, you know, Mexican Mafia... <laughs> I don't even think does things like that. It's just it's criminal, and nobody's nobody's racing to get into Scientology. They they spend all this money, TV commercials, billboards, everything. Their campaign with books. Now they're it's a local store called Woodman's in Aurora. They sell the L. Ron Hubbard books, which. It's got to be just a way to try to give people, a, you know, oh, I like this book. What else do you read? And, you know, scam them into that type of thing. But Scientology really is in East Germany. It's it's basically if you look at a totalitarian regime. L. Ron Howard basically looked at it and said, oh, let me see if I can do this. He was the dictator of his own state for a while when he was out. Uh, on the ship, I don't think it was the free ones at the time, but it was said cargo freighter that he was uh, traveling around trying to look for a lost treasure or whatever. He ran his own government on there. In the Sea Org, they dress in military uniforms. If uh, I always wondered what East Germany would be like, because you know I'm never going to see it. It's, it's a, something of the past. They'll never come back. But I guess I have two options. Either I can go to North Korea or I can just look at Scientology. Oh. Uh, but in short, I also want to say at this, I think Anonymous is doing a great job. I think it's a wonderful thing. That gives me hope when I see all this horrible corruption of religion and power. Uh, Anonymous really, I think, is the... Uh, is the answer. They, they're they really doing their thing and I, sometimes I'm like, oh I wish they'd go after Mormonism. And this, no, 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 no. It's good that they don't corrupt the uh, the cause and they stick with uh, Scientology. And Scientology doesn't get what anonymous, that's what, it, it's just anonymous people attacking, say, going after Scientology and exposing it. I wouldn't even say attacking. Because they, they don't really go after the uh, uh, the um, free zoners. They go after COS. 
and it's anonymous people protesting and they don't they think there's some huge superstructure and you have to join or you have to pay dues or you get money it's ridiculous their 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 perception of it is totally warped and these people are the ultimate slaves because Scientology's got them by the mind and i think a great asset too besides the with the angry gay pope and Tori Magoo and Mark Bunker um is uh, oh, I just Jason Begay. That's it. Sorry, Jason Begay. He's a great asset. So, on this video, I'll make more about Scientology. Go anonymous.